Not talk, not not ready to talk to Rude just yet. Let's go deal with this other shit first. <laughs> He's just chilling. They'll come here eventually. Yeah. It was hundred percent just we make eye contact and I just turn around and walk away. <laughs> nope. Hey there. Maybe later, Cloud. We can we can hang out. Cloud. Hey, yeah. Go, okay, come back, man. I just want I just want to ask a couple questions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. The hustle and grind attitude. Rise and grind, kid. Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the good news is at least these kids aren't hard to find. Oh, you scared me. Hey there. How goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? So it's interesting, like. Uh, all the bad things that Avalanche are doing right now is basically being blamed on, like, Wutai aggression. Yeah. Um, without, without spoiling too much, we know, like, a very bad thing is going to happen in the not-too-too-distant future, and I have a sneaking suspicion that's going to be probably the, like, the linchpin that causes, like, a war with Wutai. Mm. Yeah, that's a good guess, I'd say. Where are you going? I don't know. Where am I going? Look over there. Why can't I go that way? Uh, um, maybe there's one of the children's secret hideout. I would guess. I haven't actually talked to the item shop yet. Maybe they have something interesting. Need to get. Get that. Buy some fabric softener from that kid. You're that Merc, aren't you? <laughs> Apparently, everyone knows you already. Yeah, I'm. I'm infamous. Um. First of all, you can buy ether. Second of all, nothing here of value. Yeah. And then... Ooh, there's a materia shop, though. Over there. And that's Chadley. Hey, you're that merc, right? What kind of materia are you looking for? <laughs> nothing, but I want, you, I want to buy that song. I mean, there's a bunch of rocks there that I think are, are just uh, fake materia. <laughs> this, this guy's selling just Ursat's materia off the bat. Yeah. Okay. It's all fool's gold. Yeah. I'm assuming the last kid is in the hideout. Let's see if my uh, suspicion is right. Well, you're on a roll. You were right about the church, so. Yep. Never been wrong in my life, David. Unless it, <laughs> except when it comes to combat decisions in this game, apparently. I mean, he made it this far. He only died, like, once, so... Well, yeah, I, I'm... I'm saying Shiva doesn't count. Because <laughs> it was VR. Yeah. VR ain't real. Ah, uh, come on, there's no... Maybe not. Maybe not. Damn. Well, what do you think? No, that's because he's got a sword. Come on. That's got to be the kid. What are, they, uh, what are they scared of in there? Um, old man, probably? Uh, maybe, I, I don't know, let's go check it out. I hear battle music. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too much further than this. This isn't worth it, yeah. but... Alright. I was wrong. Yeah, I should, I should have bet on that one. You got bad instincts, Dave. You gotta, can't trust your instincts. <laughs> Yep, definitely a loading point right definitely, there. Definitely, 100%, yeah. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mind when they kind of obfuscate the load points like that. It's it's, it's uh, totally fine, yeah. Yeah. It's a necessity. Maybe... There we are. It's just, you know, a foot in the other direction. Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. It's like a Gaddafi-looking guy here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be strong and tough when I grow up too. Sounds like Gaddafi sound also. Very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the So yeah, so Aerith doesn't Aerith doesn't know that do. Cloud did the did the terrorist thing, hey? For you. 
I guess man. not. I think she's clever enough to Can't put it together, right though, if she hasn't figured it out. Probably, yet. yeah. Fastest way. Not up, left. Okay. This way. I'm really bad with directions, if you can't tell. This way. Alright. Oh, oh, get out of. Get. No, nope, you're stuck. You can't move. The crowd. The mob. They've turned on me. I don't know. This, I'm going by feel now. This feels right. Yeah, that's so. not. It was absolutely not right, but whatever. There you go. You've heard it all the cats over there. Mm hmm. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Happy to do okay, it. Hey, everyone. Come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toe King's back. I saw him near the hideout. Go on. Do something about him. Go on. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. I bet, I bet you it's the Tomberry King. Oh, yeah, really Maybe. Sweet. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. Are we extorting we children? The watch wouldn't ask for money. We're extorting children. But if we ask any other grown ups <laughs> for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Oh, well, we get that kid's bat, then. Uh, that kid has a special what? bat. That's a weapon we get. Uh, the nail bat was one of the weapons you could get in the guard. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what happens. We're gonna well, get that kid's bat. Won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. You cannot. <laughs> Local Tonberry murders seven children. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. Yeah, we're you getting that bat. Toking, no problem, right? Yeah, it looks a little... A it looks too unique for us not to get that bat. It looks conspicuous. Okay, where is it? Uh, Take a left. And just go. So we're thinking the Toad King's the Tonberry? That's my feeling. Somehow. Okay. I'm thinking of like, of like recognizable characters that have a crown. I can't think of too many Final Fantasy monsters that are that are all crowned up. I can think of plenty of uh, uh, Monster Hunter characters. I went the wrong fucking way again. God damn it. Um, <laughs> I can think of plenty of Monster Hunter enemies that would be wearing a crown or two. Maybe it's a Marlboro. <laughs> I'd love it. Let's do it. <laughs> We're heading to Flavor Country. I think a Marlboro was originally a boss in FF7. Was he not? Or not in seven, no. Okay. Um, but they wouldn't appear until much later. I think the first time they appear is in the. It's the snow area. Snow area, yeah. Um, oh, it's way over here. All right, fine. We'll do this again. Yeah, it's too bad they don't give you a convenient option to you know go back to the quest giver at the end of it. Are you insinuating something, David? Uh, no, I'm just making an observation. How, how okay. I might improve this game. Uh, you're, improving your, you're improving your tight five? Is that what you're doing over there? <laughs> I'm always working on my tight five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the deal with hedgehog pies? <laughs> you sure you want to fight? No holding so. Okay, uh, this game is broken. I, I, I'm really upset it took me this long to realize it. All you gotta do is just go into Punisher mode and just put the guard up, and then everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just not your not your default way to play an action-oriented game. It's it's not it's not my my default setting. Absolutely not. You're not not a defensive player like me. <laughs> not especially. No. Best defense is a good offense, as uh, as as Sun Tzu once said. Sun Tzu. Look how much fucking damage that does. This is it. Yeah. We're playing this way forever now. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Okay, then. Let's do this. Now. Well, well, not if they both ignore me. I mean, you can almost get them both that way. Oh, almost had them. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Easy, easy. 
And it's it's good at least to learn this 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 method, because I definitely have not been doing that enough, so. You say you just, you just press the button? Uh, yeah, like, like, countering in this game is trivial. It's basically just if someone attacks you while your guard is up, you instantly counter. At least, as, at oh, least okay. in Punisher. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. Oh, oh look, look at this. Uh, buff from the, uh, the black one, though. Yeah, the black hedge of Ah, fuck, up. Oh, you can miss, though. Yeah. Well, let's just hit him with what he's weak with. And I know I gotta I gotta assess the Hedgehog King. He fucking... He's just flying the fuck around right now, isn't he? Oh, there you go. He exploded. Alright, I'm gonna get her up so she can pray. We'll throw back to Cloud. And... Boom. What are you weak to? King of Pies? Same shit as everything else. Um, flicking a certain amount of damage makes it susceptible to staggering. It enhances either itself or its comrades during battle, so target whoever is not currently affected by its powers. Make me! What is that state that he's in? Is it just like a stagger state? Almost like how you it's, put the enemies into it? My assumption is sleep. Oh, okay, yeah. No, he needs to have little uh, cartoon Zeds coming off his head, in that case. just He's waiting till someone hits him, basically. I don't know. Can I? Oh, could you could you change targets and attack uh, Cloud to wake him up? Uh, I, I wonder. Like, I couldn't there, no. But I wasn't necessarily checking. You probably have some smelling salts. If you have to wake that, up that might be it, yeah. Oh, he's gonna hit somebody who's slow. Oh, he didn't manage. Well, we're gonna do this first. Get back, you little fucker. <laughs> Oh, now you're slow. Get ready. He doesn't actually attack, though. He's he's just a... I, I say and then he attacks me. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> he heard you, man. <laughs> yeah. He says, I don't attack. I'll show him. Yeah. Nice. That wasn't so bad. Uh, well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> no, let's go the long way. <laughs> don't joke. You might have done that had you not been there before. <laughs> Give me the bat. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Awesome. Give me the bat. I knew you could do it. Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much. It's there good to go. teach. It's, it's good to teach anti-monarchist values into the children. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I hope you have I a very over-the-top nail bat forever. now. One that I expect yeah. you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. The children are our future. Make sure they don't stumble <laughs> and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family. In all the ways that matter. If I can do that Again, for them, hell yeah, community building. Then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. 
Have you tried uh, acts of terrorism? I yeah, I mean, like, helping out your neighborhood is good, but have you tried it, murdering Shinra uh, soldiers? Not that I'm anything <laughs> close to what he was. Consider Biggs direct action, that's all I'm saying. All right, they've talked about Biggs twice now. Oh, no. I've completely lost track of time. Do so you have a date with Biggs? No, she said, like, she yeah, said, like, I'm just doing my best. I'm not as, like, something of the fact of just, like, Biggs was, like, the real hero that. around here. Biggs really helped the kids, so... Biggs must have come from here. Kind of Biggs must have been like a kid from from Leaf House. No Thanks again for saving our hideout from the key. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, I oh, know I lost the game. The God damn it! <laughs> I'm not saying it because I lost the game. I'm saying it because I've been reminded of the dumbest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, well, we still got one more side quest, then. We gotta go check out uh, a verified hero. Most importantly, though, check out that damn nail bat. Oh, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, let's... If, if, if what the nail bat usually is is correct, it's gonna do not very much damage, but it's just gonna have, like, high critical. Um, 30, 30... Well, again, again, we gotta upgrade yeah. it. A lot of upgrades to put in there. Uh, I gotta get that attack, first of all. There will be no. It will be completely defenseless against my my bat with nails in it. I love it. Um, crit rate ten percent. Yes. I know uh, crit rate twenty five percent. Yes. Dang. Or damage twenty five percent. Damage. Yeah. This bat is meant to be critted out. Absolutely. Um. Ooh, materia, materia, materia. Yeah. It's too late to see what's over here, but crippling damage, 10% boost, weapon ability, critical rate, hit rate, 10% boost. That probably would have been the right thing to do if this if this bat's purpose is to crit out. It probably is correct to try to really hit the crits out, but I'm a sucker for materia. What can I tell you? Yeah, I mean, it's worthwhile, I think, to expand it that way. Mm -hmm. Especially because I don't Where's think... Where's the materia go on the bat, exactly? Especially because I don't think, naturally, this thing has Materia, so... Oh. What did we have on? We had Blizzard... ...and... ...something else. Uh... What else did we have? Assess? Uh... Wind... Maybe we had Assess? Yeah. Yeah. I... I guess we just keep this Assess on, but at this point I feel like it's starting to, like, take up a slot, you know? Yeah, that's true. We just really don't have that many to work with, so... You can put something else there. I'm sure it's fine. Eh. Throw a poison on it, just for now. I just really just want to see what Bio does. Yeah. It's a very dumb-looking weapon. It's an oversized baseball bat. That's not, that's not regulation. No, this is, this is some anime-ass shit right here. Back to where we just were. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play whack a box again. It's all thanks what? to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you heard I him. forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. <laughs> He's like, Did I fucking stutter, Cloud? He was looking for some help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just more and more quests. The quests never end. Alright, I have my bat. Looking to whack oh, some hey, box, apparently. <laughs> for our favorite game, whack a box. You want in? It's super fun. Yes. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. I've always wanted to be king of the kids. Let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Uh ooh, participation Moogle Medal. A spectral cog wheel. Don't know what the fuck that is. Hello. Oh, cool. This is your right. shit, man. Um, each box will let you score once the time reaches zero. The game is over. Return the target score to win. All right. I'm having a whale of a time over here, David. <laughs> 
the 1500. Oh no. Do I need to. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to break. That's cool that he does a little uh, home run close, though. Really? There's like a bunch more. Okay, there's more over here. Cool. Is this like a charge move you can do? I guess? Or does it just trigger out in like the fifth hit or something? I oh, don't know, okay. Let's go, let's go. Nope, wrong button. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost uh, 10,000 points. Probably wasn't worth doing that, but fuck it. Yeah, go over here, this looks better. Twelve hundred. All right. Yeah. Ooh, wow, it's a tough box. There we go. I need that timer. That's the thing. Oh, there's two. Oh, I gotta get through this one as well. Fuck. So we got three seconds left, it's good. No holding back. I'd say I try to get all the small boxes now. Ah, it's gonna be close, but not enough. Oh, yeah. Time's up. All right, well, that was very dumb. Uh, this is your kind of minigame, I think. Yeah. I might, like, if, if, uh, if it comes at the right time, I might come back and just, like, fuck around with this on my own. This is not necessarily worth, like, spending an episode on, but... Oh, I get all, uh, almost everything. Yeah. Oh well. What do you? What was the the grand prize? The A spectral prize? cog wheel. Oh which yes. I don't know what the fuck that is. Could that be like someone's weapon? Could that be? Special cog wheel. It sounds like a made. I don't know. Is that like made accessory like, or armor? Yeah. I might even look up to see what it is and if it's worth getting. Because then I'll just come on my own time and do it. Um. I'm, I'm loving this nail bat so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna flex with this a little bit. What does the uh, the weapon ability do? Uh, disorder. I don't know what it does yet. Let's maybe look into it. Um, disorder. Deliver a devastating attack and switch modes in one fluid motion. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Want to help me out too? What do you say? <sighs> uh, uh, all right. Through and then left. Oh, you could see this. I had thought we'd put those days of war and death behind us. Uh, you but wouldn't I happen to be a certain fall? merc that's. Ah, I see he's wearing the colors of North Korea. Yep. <laughs> I'm Damon. Little yeah, he subscribes to the philosophy of Juche. Ah, <laughs> uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the did you know that Kim Il-sung uh, designed the North Korean flag by himself? Did he? I, I just heard that he we got a hole in one every time he played golf. I didn't man. know anything else. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trip. I was reading about Juche a little yesterday, and um, I mean, we all we all got to spend Saturday some way. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, apparently, like in whatever museum to the to the ideology they have, they have all these like letters from around the world from like all the all the people who have been influenced by Juche. And I, I, I imagine some of them are legit, but I'm sure there's a lot of like kids' letters to Santa ass. <laughs> Bullshit there as well. <laughs> it's very good. He is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made Dear Mr. Kim Il Sung, please come liberate us from the <laughs> from the imperial aggressors. <laughs> Dear Kim Il Sung, we would like to be freed from American aggression. My has been exposed. My 
sources have all deserted me. Ah, uh, wouldn't we all? Me to you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. This guy's trying to get me to narc on some anti Shinra person, which, like, no. Hmm. But Hopefully uh, it's an alternate way to solve the quest. We let Johnny go, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't kill Johnny, which like was the first mistake. Why hello? What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. I'm right here. Being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, <laughs> this part is bumping. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't help but notice this place looks busier now that we started fucking bumping some hip hop in here. Yeah, absolutely. So, are we thinking it's Aerith? Or are we thinking it's this weird lady? Good to see you too, Aerith. Maybe I Aerith? Heard you found yourself a funny new friend. I was gonna say, I'm assuming it's well, this lady that has her own yeah. unique character she model. Everything yeah. Everything there is to know about the slums. Mirai, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Oh shucks. He looks useful enough. Where, <laughs> where? The kids have been talking about you, the defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the sun. He's going to set off a whole new uh, trend in, uh, in Trap of just having uh, <laughs> quick <laughs> quick like samples in there. Not that it's any real secret considering how chatty the Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Uh. Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Alright, head on back. <laughs> Alright, this is well worth my time. Years ago when I came when you get out of my way. You see now was only I thought we'd put those days of so, war and news behind. Have you tried Wu Tai won't let us move on. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Murray, oh, man. Murray, the town gossip? I chased her for days, begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Me and you not looking good in this game right is now. That it? I don't know anything You've, about Like, that. this is all, I guess this is all, like, state press, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. Base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap. At lookout point. Hardly anyone goes this out This is a trap report. Days. Oh yeah, 100%. percent place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout point. Got it! I'll check it out right now. But yeah, he's dead. you go, I should <laughs> warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! <gasps> Quite large, lots of teeth, always hungry. All right, I guess we're gonna have to go and kill this fiend. Anywhere near that thing. Oh, well. Once this conversation's uh, done, we should probably wrap it up for today as well. We'll leave the fiend for yeah, next episode. Well, a good Sounds good. Reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, <laughs> if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Fine. I'll do it. We'll do he that for the next job. episode, though. He had one job. <laughs> yeah. I will go and I will beat up a big monster with my baseball bat. That's fine. <laughs>